human beings only use 10% of their brain. We've heard that. And so I teach people how to open up the other 90%. Mm -hmm. Now, whether you consider it fortunate or not, because of what I've been through, a large percentage of my mind pattern is opened and available. And when that happens, it correspondingly opens up the related DNA sequences. Have you had a lot of success with this? Very much so, and I teach classes in this. Uh -huh. And um, looking at your website, and we're going to provide links to your website uh, off the CD, um, I see you have a lot of classes. Yes. Uh, and But various different types of classes. Right, because there's language of hyperspace, there's DNA, there's healing techniques, simultaneous existence, all different aspects of opening up the mind pattern. Now, how would one feel comfortable going to your class after hearing the story of how you were controlled? Um, well, that's a very common question, and it's a good question. Okay. And so I say, don't listen to the messenger, listen to the message. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was programmed, I was genetically manipulated, what have you. That doesn't alter the value of the information. One and one is two, no matter if I tell you or Adolf Hitler tells you, it's the same valid information. And so the information that I teach about color codes and archetypes and hyperspace sentences, all of that is quite valid. And I encourage people to really study for themselves. I only provide the tools. Mm -hmm. I don't make it happen for you. I tell you what you can do for yourself to open it up. And still it's up to each individual. Okay, Stuart, what do people do with these tools? They find out who and what they are. They find the truth of them? That's correct. Not that it comes from me or anyone else, but it'll come from themselves. They will actually access it themselves. Hmm. I could, I could see two things happening. I could see one becoming enlightened and accepting and loving. I could see another upon realizing who they are and perhaps becoming fearful um, and not handling it very well. Well, that is because of the conditioning that people have been through. Right. People are designed to identify themselves with their problem. They're too fat, they're too short, they don't have enough money, they never find a parking space. That's how they identify themselves. Mm -hmm. And the fear is, if they don't have those issues, they don't know who they'll be. So there's a fear in that. Mm -hmm. But they should also realize that that's not who they are. That's who they have been told they should be. So do you believe in the common saying that we're spiritual beings having a human experience? Exactly correct. And if, if indeed that's true, then that really transcends this whole physical experience. The physical reality, all and there's many many almost infinite physical realities all with different vibratory rates that's mm -hmm. why you can't see them mm -hmm. but all of them combined is really a speck in the mind of god mm -hmm. the bulk of it is non-physical or energetic mm -hmm. i almost consider physical reality to be an error in thinking in god mind if god is capable of error god is capable of everything yeah, indeed. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. So perhaps in closing here, and, and you've been very gracious for spending this amount of time. I, I didn't know we would do this much, but let's look back at Montauk. Let's look at this experience. What can we gain from this? It happened. You were there. Al was there. Preston was there. Duncan was there. Where are we now? And, and for the listener, what should the listener take away from this message? We are at a very critical point in linear time. We're at a nexus or crossing point where those who seek to control and enslave this physical reality are just about where they want to be. Now, they only have that ability because of the victimization mentality of those that they control. If people remove the victimization mentality from their mind patterns, those who control will no longer have any power over them. Tyranny only exists where there is a need for oppression. If there's total freedom and control,
control of oneself, mind, body, and spirit, no one and nothing can ever take control of you. So it is at this point in history that every individual needs to decide for themselves whether they wish to be controlled or to be self-controlled. And if they decide to self-control and they teach that to others and so on and so on, eventually it will reach a critical mass that will spill over to the species mind pattern and then there will be complete freedom within the human species and there will no longer be tyranny or control. And that's what I hope people will understand from all of this information. And I hope that you will be successful with your programs to help them with that. Thank you. I, I, I do. Stuart, it's been a wonderful hour and a half here. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate the opportunity.